Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Monday.com for beginners. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. If you're looking for a CRM software, Monday.com is now leading all-in-one project management. Click the link below in the description to sign up for free today. First, open your web browser and go to Monday.com. Here you can see the different workflows that you can manage with Monday.com work operating system. From creative and design, software development, marketing, project management, sales and CRM, task management, HR, operations, and more. So for this demonstration, let's choose project management and task management. Below, you will see the get started option and that you will notice that no credit card is needed to get started. You will also notice that you can use a free plan for as long as you want. Now let's click on get started. After that, you will notice that you are redirected to monday.com sign up page. If you don't have an account yet, you can go ahead and continue with your Google account or your company account. If you already have an account, you can go ahead and click on login, which is found over here. Since I don't have an account yet, I will go ahead and continue with my Google account. After entering my Google account credentials, I am asked what I am going to use Monday.com for, either for work, for personal use, for school, or other non-profit uses. For this demonstration, let's choose personal. Next, we are asked what we would like to manage first among these choices. Take note that you can always add more in the future. Then, we are asked what we would like to focus on first by choosing from any of these options. Lastly, you will be asked where you heard Monday.com from. After that, you can already invite your teammates by entering their email here and selecting their role here. For an admin role, they can invite and manage new users. For a member role, they can add and edit content. You can either invite your teammates now or do it later. Now, you can create a board where you and your teammates can start working together. Note that in Monday.com, boards are the place where all your content lives. Let's try creating a board for technical issues and call it IT Help Center. From there, let's click on Next. Next, you will be asked to select the relevant columns related to your board from Owner, Due Date, Status, Files, Timeline, Last Updated, Priority, Notes, and Budget. For our IT Help Center, let's choose Owner, Status, Timeline, and Priority, then click Next. Now you will be asked to select one of the items you'd like to manage. So items or rows in your board which hold all the relevant information to your tasks, projects, campaigns, and more, such as budgets, creatives, leads, clients, and your custom item. Let's create a custom item called Ticket. Then click on Next. Now we can add a view layout and transform the way we see and manage our work with more unique views, either by table, Kanban, Calendar, Timeline, Cards, and Gantt. Let's choose Table. So Table is the default layout where we can plan, track, and manage anything using this visual board. Let's click on Next. We can now list some of our tickets such as software installation, printer connectivity, and email sync issues. We can add more later on. Let's click on Next. Here, we can create different groups where we can group our tickets to better organize our work. Say you want to group your ticket according to priority. First, your call group below, label your next group as medium. We can add more groups later on. Now we can get started. Now, you can see the ID Help Center board that we have customized earlier. We see the tickets the different columns such as owner, status, priority, timeline, and to add more columns, just click on the plus button here and choose from the many options. Now to edit different elements in your board, you can simply hover your mouse to quickly edit anything. Now let's try editing some of the elements in our board. 
let's change the owner to the requester. To edit status labels, just click on any status of any ticket. Here you can see that the existing labels are done, working on it, stuck, or not started. Let's say you want to edit a label. Just click on edit labels here and change working on it to in progress. To apply the changes, click on apply here and you can see that the changes have been saved. Now let's check on the priority labels. We can see that the existing labels are critical, high, medium, and low. Let's edit the labels and remove critical. You can also rearrange the tables by dragging and dropping them to your desired position. To apply the changes again, click on apply. You can see that the critical label has been removed. Since we decided to group our tickets according to priority, let's add a new group called high and edit the color of that group by choosing from the existing options here. Now to move a ticket to a different group, just click on this, move to, and move to group. You can select which group you want to move the ticket. You can select which group you want to move that ticket to. Let's say high. You can now see that this specific ticket is moved to high. If you want to change the placement of a specific column, just drag and drop that column. Just drag and drop that column to the place where you want to move it to. Now you can see that the requester column has been moved to where you dropped it to and these columns move to the left. You can add a new ticket by clicking on new ticket over here or add ticket over here. You can also search for a specific ticket by entering any detail that can be found within that ticket. Since I typed printer, the ticket with the word printer showed up. You can also filter the tickets by person. You can also filter your tickets by clicking on any of these elements. To switch to advanced filter settings, just click on this button and now you can select the ticket by column, the condition, and the value. You can also sort your tickets by clicking on sort here and adding a new sort condition. You can sort by name, status, priority, requester, or timeline in any of these manners, either ascending or descending. You can also hide columns by unchecking their box here. Notice that when we unchecked priority, the priority column can no longer be seen. You can see that the IT Help Center board is found under main workspace. You can add a workspace by clicking on add workspace here or browse all workspaces by clicking on this button. Here you can see your favorites. You can add this board to your favorites by clicking on the star button here. You could remove it by clicking on this button again. You can invite board members by clicking on the invite button here and by entering their name or their email. You can check the activity done within the board by clicking on activity. You can check the activity log, who last viewed the board, and the updates done by anyone within the board. You can filter the activity by time, group, and column. You can also filter by name and by person. You can see when someone deleted anything, created an element, moved an element, and to where. We can also view this board through a different layout by clicking on Add View option over here. We can also integrate different apps to our board by clicking on Integrate button over here. We can integrate remote work apps, communication apps, customer support apps, marketing apps, and many more. You will be able to view different board options by clicking on the Options button found on the upper right corner of the page. You can see board power-ups, notifications, permissions, settings, more actions. You can also choose archive board or to delete the board. You can view the archive or trash by clicking on this and you can also give the feedback to help the developers of this website to improve this website further. Now if you're having problems, you can click on help here and look for possible solutions to your problem. So that's it for this video. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you can tune in to the next one.